Not going to the store, sir. Stop now! You need to. Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. If it's your first time on the channel, welcome to the channel. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. It helps us out with the YouTube algorithm. So we're gonna get right into this one. So you know we've talked about this channel on the, we've talked about it on this channel, especially last time during the whole uh, Kyle Rittenhouse hearing about our police, you know, just about police brutality in general. And this video I have for y'all today, this honestly, I'm gonna warn you guys straight ahead. Pretty graphic, because this happened this week, and um, I don't know if, if it's getting as much attention as it should, but I figured I'd want to show you guys and kind of get your thoughts on this, because this is one of those examples of police brutality that I just can't, you, you can't justify, nobody can justify this. Bravo 1-8. Bravo 1-8. You sent me an 84. I have a male suspect that I just shoplifted. Knife in front of me. Pull that knife on me. He's currently westbound in the parking lot. I need an additional unit to Bravo 1-8 at 1650 West Valencia Road. We're going to be 1039. Bravo 1 copy. It's white male, flannel t-shirt, white hat. We're in front of the DD's discount. And Bravo 1 -8. we're currently northbound on Oak Tree going towards the Lowe's. And Bravo 1-5 to 1-U-5. He's confronted by loss prevention. He pulled the knife on loss prevention while I was right there. And Bravo 1-8, we're on the east side of Lowe's in the parking lot. So we're just west of Oak Tree. Still going south though. So this is body cam footage. He's trying to hang Bravo up the 15. dude. Uh, we have one gunshot victim. Uh, officers are code 4. Bravo 1-5 is it code 4 for men to move in at this point. Bravo. Bravo 15, I'll need units here, code 3. We've got a lot of people here. 10-4, stand by just one. Is it okay for meds to move in? Is the scene secure? Yeah, scene's code 4, meds to move in. Like, what, like, what the hell? Seriously. Honestly, I watched, I saw this, this was sent to me yesterday, and I saw it, and I was like, just thinking, okay, what's the rationale here? Because, you know, my someone told me that, okay, uh, you should watch this video, that um, some guy gets shot multiple times, like, in the back. So I was like, alright, send me the video. I watched it, and I see this guy, and I, at first I was like, wait, is this the suspect? The guy in the in the wheelchair, or like the scooter, whatever that thing is? Is, is, is this the suspect? And you know, it was it was a suspect. So I, I'm watching the video and I see this dude pull out a gun. So cause I, if you guys heard, during the whole altercation, they didn't mention the guy had a knife. Probably a little pocket knife. Um, you know, the guy was I, I don't know if he was just like, you know, disabled or old, but the man was in a wheelchair. Like, bro, the man was in a, in, in a one of those, I think those automatic uh, scooter chairs. There was no reason, there was literally no threat available. Because I don't, okay, I can admit, I probably don't have the full scenario here. And you guys, if you guys know the whole scenario, um, I, again, just put, the, put it in the comments below. Because, you know, you guys helped out last time with uh, Kyle House by clearing up some, some, uh, some confusion. But if you know the scenario for this one, please put it in the comments below because I really want to know. Because this, this is similar. This is a very, very similar to the Jacob Blake case. Because if you guys remember, Jacob Blake was also shot multiple times in the back. But the thing is, in this case, the reason I can't even justify this, unless, unless that scooter was some kind of bomb, or the, there was a bomb in the scooter, and he was moving towards the market, or the, you know, the, the shopping mall, and, you know, because in that case, the only time you're allowed to really use deadly force like that 
is when your life or other people's lives are in danger. Because I know the person was armed. And, you know, oh, by the way, by the way, guys, before I keep on going, um, the officer who did do this, uh, the shooting has been terminated. Personally, I do think that deserves jail time. Like, that, this man needs to get, like, like put on trial. Because that wasn't even criminal. That wasn't criminal justice. That wasn't any kind of justice. That was just an execution. That was simply an execution. Because we can't really have officers out here who are supposed to protect us. Because I know you guys, some, some of you guys can be like, oh, he had a knife. I'm like, okay, sure, he had a knife. What is he gonna do with the knife? He's on a scooter. What is he gonna do? Like, is he gonna slowly run up to you and then stab you? Bro, If even if he got into the shopping complex, you can just go up a flight of stairs and you'd be safe. Literally, this is probably the least threatening assailant I've ever seen. Cause keep in mind, the knife he probably had was a simple, was probably a simple pocket knife. If I, have to, if I have to really guess. But yes, because of that, this officer shows to fire like nine shots into the dude, into a man on a wheelchair. Like guys, let, let that sink in. This man was on a wheelchair, moving at like one mile per hour. Okay, fine, fine, he was armed, yeah. And in, in a different case, let's say this man wasn't in a wheelchair and he was able-bodied, and he had a knife and was running towards the, you know, sprinting towards the complex, the, the shopping complex at full speed. Yeah, fine. I can get it. You know, if you use deadly force, though, again, I don't even think in that case, nine shots are required. But if you use deadly force, I can, okay, just say, all right, fine. I, I can see your logic there. I can see your logic there. But man was moving at literally one mile per hour. My thing was, why didn't he, why didn't he use a taser? Why didn't he just tase the dude? Because this man could have ran back to his car and back. I'm pretty sure this man could have probably driven back to the, to the station and back and he still wouldn't have gone anywhere. Like, what, what is this world coming to? Cops, this is one of the reasons why. Because I'm pretty sure this, you can say this guy's an exception. But the fact that a person like this was even able to put on a badge is the problem. Because I, like, I, I, I'm always going to say it, all right? If the cops pull you over ladies and gentlemen especially you fellas if the cops pull you over you can comply because this isn't just like a you know it's only a black person african-american problem no this is an actual everybody problem this is one of the reasons why in the last video with Kyle Rittenhouse I told you guys always comply I even gave you an example about when this happened to me and what I did if you guys haven't seen the video just look it up it's probably somewhere around but if you ever get pulled up by the cops, comply. Doesn't matter your race. Because honestly, some of these guys should not be on the streets. Because I'm, I am not by no means bashing the police officers. I do know they're what they, because I told you before, the, the officers are just like you and me. All right? They get scared. They get tense. You know? And then they make bad decisions just like we do. But the problem is this can be classified as a bad decision. You can shoot somebody in a wheelchair, scooter, whatever, multiple times. And if you guys go back and play the clip one more time, because I'm not gonna play it again, I'm not gonna play it again, because I, I just don't like seeing that. The man waited before he shot the last clip. He shot the guy multiple times, and then waited like a second, and then shot again. Because so it wasn't even like it was a mistake what he was trying to do. Why? Like seriously, why? And to add insult to injury, the man proceeded to try and handcuff the man he just killed. Yo, if you guys can explain, if one, any of y'all can explain that to me in the chat, let me know. Cause I am goddamn confused. Cause you, I'm a very logical person, all right? When I see something happen, I usually try and dig deeper into it. And uh, you know, I want to understand this, you know, what happened in the scenario. And I want to say, okay, okay, this led to this, this led to that, and okay, this is what happened. Cool, I get it. I like to give everybody a benefit of the doubt. But, but in this case, it's like, it doesn't even matter. All this man was packing some nuclear level threat. I just don't see, I don't see how this warrants the force that was used. And here's something I gotta point out too. This wasn't even on my newsfeed. This wasn't, I didn't know anything about this until I got, it was sent to me. Maybe it was covered in you guys' newsfeed. Like, yo, let me know in the chat. Let me, let me know in the chat. 
did you guys know about this incident like what did it come up in your facebook twitter instagram uh youtube whatever because if this cause during the jacob blake shooting this is very similar to the jacob blake shooting by the way albeit this is probably worse during the jacob blake shooting that's that popped up in my newsfeed asap asap every single feed facebook instagram twitter youtube every single thing it popped up but this didn't i mean obviously we all know the reason why it dealt it, you know it didn't but again I, I just don't want this to be a race thing because something i do want you guys to understand is that the reason why a lot of these things aren't as popular aren't popularized or aren't pushed by the media it simply isn't really just primarily because of race it's more because it's just not what people click to the same way you know say uh, black and black violence isn't broadcasted as much or white and white violence you know because those don't sell because keep in mind media is still a business and just like any business you gotta make profits so what happened here was they choose what will make them the most get them the most clicks the most likes the most most shares that's how they make their money you know it doesn't matter what race you are you always have to be careful around the police comply when you need to because i wouldn't want any of you guys to be faced to have to face something like this for you or your loved ones because my heart goes out to the family of this man who just who literally just got executed because no officer like this deserves to be on the street all right and i know people are gonna say yeah they kicked him off the force he got terminated but i mean i really want to understand this is this is the main thing i want to understand what was going through his mind at that point when he pulled the trigger he sees this old man in a scooter all right like, like does did he not know that bullets kill it looked like he didn't even know how bullets worked because the man after all that went to go handcuff the guy that was his first intent that was his first prerogative he just killed a person instead of going to actually start administering life-saving i mean i don't know what you can do at that point because cpr ain't gonna do shit like but i'm just saying he could have tried something or not nah. he's like no nah, no nah, I, I i gotta handcuff this guy it's stuff like this that really gets me kind of ticked off because because you know a lot of people think that oh no it's just you know black folks or african-american folks who need to be worried about stuff like this no no this this, this was a white guy this is this was a white guy and the and this is kind of the main issue because when you know, let's say this was an actually this was a black guy who got shot this would have this would have been major news this would have got like riots this would have got like hell of publicity and a lot of young impressionable youth like you know black and african-american youth are gonna see that and get the sense that the cops are only after them and what this does it hides the fact that the problem isn't in fact like a race thing but a police thing because the problem isn't the race but there are individuals on the force that aren't competent that aren't properly trained and again i'm always going to say this that i do think we do need the police in neighborhoods you know to keep us safe for the most part but i'm going to i'm going to ca uh, caveat that with this that we can trust the police when they allow people like this into the force when somebody like this who is this trigger happy can be can be allowed and given the a-ok -okay, given the green light to wield a badge to wield a damn gun but but this is what where we're at because this cannot be justified and guys again if you guys know the full story i'll be willing to hear it because this th this this ain't it man this ain't it let me know what you guys think about this this video um i don't i just didn't want, i just saw this video recently i just kind of wanted to bring it to you, you guys so because i'm pretty isn't gonna get as much publicity as it probably should because i mean i haven't heard of any protests i haven't I haven't heard of anything and i don't want you guys out there you know like those the black and african-american guys to feel that they're being targeted by the police because this can really happen to anybody so i also want you know our other members who are who aren't black or african-american to know that you gotta play it safe out there like you're not 100 percent safe that's all i got for this video man like let me know what you guys think um Cause i know this was hard to watch you know i do apologize i give you i try to give you guys a heads up in the beginning um i know this kind of got a little bit graphic and you know i do apologize for that but let me know in the chat what you guys think